We're here to inform you of the opportunities specific to electrical instrumentation, telecommunication, security systems, EITS in short. Um, we've invited our main contractors. The purpose of the forum today is to give you as much as we can some information, uh, answer to your questions, concern um, about how to access to these businesses, uh, which are the opportunities in terms of employment, how to uh, register with PAU if not done yet, uh, which are the mechanisms on how to answer to expression of interest, call for tenders, if you have any questions on our standards, because we are an oil and gas project, so we are here today for you. So it means that people like CPP and Snef Snyder are looking for local skills and expertise and goods and services. For us it's important for the job opportunities. We are really looking uh, local qualified personnel from anywhere. Uh, our procurement plans for the ITS materials, we have transformers, uh, we shall require about four units, LOVs, figure cabinets, about eight units, LOV distribution box, double end street lamp holder, and single end street lamp holders. Lamp pole, about 232 units. Solar lawn lamp, 24 units. Cables, about 4,036 meters. Another cable type, 1,516 meters. We have uh, 10 meters telecom mast and 150 meters, 322 6 meters CV poles, and total 9 telecom mast. EOI process for the information technology goods. We have network infrastructure based on Cisco solution. We have telephony system. We have uh, Cisco IP phones, test port, spare parts, and we'll have provision for site work, repair system, site tool, special tool, etc. That was the goods procurement part. So here is the services. There is an HR company, some general services like insurance, financial banking um, for our own entities. We will need office supplies, training as part of the obligation, so we will work with VDAs, with the local uh, technical schools and university, train our thing and knowledge exchange and maybe a bit of a donation at the end of the project. National content coordinator, uh, process uh, control system engineer also we've just advertised last week. Telecom engineer, part of our project management team, we have uh, health and safety supervisor, finance controllers and planners, part of our engineering, electrical engineer, process automation engineer, telecom engineer, mechanical engineers, and uh, for the site activities, project managers, training managers, documentation coordinators, and, and so on. And we have uh, some items which are yet to be advertised, about fiber ticket transceiver, 60 set, rack mounted fiber, Optic transfusor for set. We have 14 port industrial Ethernet switch for set. We have 48 channel network hard disk video recorder, capacitor 8 disks, video conference system for the four main camps. Radio communication between vehicle and base station, wireless network. Regarding the acquisition of these supplies or services, we shall have a procurement process lasting about to. 81 to 90 days and it will be commencing with the preparation of tender documents and then we do an EOI which will be lasting about 15 to 30 days depending on the value of the procurement. CFTs will be issued and will be lasting between 14 to 21 days. Evaluation of bids, we expect them to take us about 30 days and then we shall be placing contracts with successful bidders. We have been really looking badly, badly for people able to provide stuff in, in electrical and instrumentation and telecom field. Please, after this session, come introduce yourself to Snef Schneider. We want to assess what you can offer. If we've missed out on the EOI and you haven't actually released the tender yet, is there any recourse? What can be done? My question is, as a telecom, how do we explore the opportunities that are there in terms of tenders or pre-qualifications? So you can, uh, if you pick up the, this expression of interest, whoever from ECOP or one of these contractors, if you realize that you are very keen to grab this COP, please feel free to uh, send an email to them and respond to the EOI. I've seen electricals and uh, panels, and seeing Schneider does more of the panels. 
that we also manufacture. So my question comes in like, do you also accept other brands or we have to go through Schneider? Yes, we do. And uh, we actually UI for a distribution transformer on the local market. And I know you guys have answered. We appreciate that. So it's not exclusive for Schneider. I mean, we are doing most of the type of equipment used for this EITS scope. However, we are open for anything that is uh, quality competitive and cost competitive. Yeah? I'm glad that the people taking for this project, like Eco, Total, Sinoc, and all the major contractors, Schneider, Schneff, CPP, and the rest that are in the room, are observing this and we're seeing participation of Ugandans. So I would like to thank you very much, Olivia and your team, for organizing this.